So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening. So, we are from group 5. Uh, I will explain to you all about contention based assets. Uh, so, let me explain what is contention based access. So, you wish to transmit data but you know there is only one medium and that is shared by many hosts. So, one of the approach that you can take is contention based. That is, you can wait for your turn and are allowed to transmit only when you are up. So, the all nodes are operating in half duplex. So, the first example is carrier sends multiple access with collision detection used on legacy bus topology Ethernet. So, the short form is CSNA slash CD. So, the second one is carrier sends multiple access with collision avoidance csna slash ca used on wireless lands so for the further let me introduce my friends to explain more about contention base so i will explain about csna cd uh, csna cd is used by legacy ethernet lands so it operates in half the plate mode when only one device sends or receives at a time is also use a collision decision process to govern when a device can send and what happen if multiple device send at the time. Thank you. Okay, I will explain how CSMA says CD collision detection process. A device transmitting simultaneously will result in a signal collision on the shared media. Device detect the collision and device wait a random period of time and Retransmit the data. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ilman. So today I would like to present about the CSMA CA or Carrier Sense Multiple Access or Collision Avoider. So basically, this method is created to prevent collision in a network, a net, a net, a wireless network, or uh, when we use the transmission. It happens when the two sender or more want to send the their data to the same receiver so it will happen it will be collision uh, pelanggaran so this method is is used to prevent the that happen the collision happen so what is does is when the PCA or NPCB want to send their data so PCA uh, is send their, his data first and PCB will wait Firstly, is we we'll detect the transmission. If uh, if has a transmission, so he will wait and until the PCA finish his job. Uh, after that, he will detect again the transmission. If no, so the PCB will uh, enter enter the data. Okay, that's all. Thank you. The CSMA CA which is the carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance process is first step when a frame is ready the transmitting station checks whether the channel is idle or busy if the channel is busy the station waits until the channel become idle if the channel is idle the station waits for an inter frame gap IFG amount of time and then sends the frame after sending the frame it sets a timer the station then waits for an acknowledgement from the receiver if it received the acknowledgement before expiry of timer it marks a, a successful transmission otherwise it waits for a back off time period and restart the algorithm